Hello and welcome to another episode of Producing Your Podcast. Today we're going to look at optimizing your MP3 file for search engine optimization, namely for Yahoo, Google, MSN, and Ask. So I'm going to go through the steps of showing you how to take your MP3 file using Adobe Audition 1.0 and 1.5 today, show you how to enter in your metadata information, and then upload it to your blog or your website. So, let's begin. Alright, so now I have in front of me Adobe Audition 1.5. If you're using Adobe Audition 1.0, you're okay. There's absolutely no difference between the two interfaces between 1.0 and 1.5. They're exactly the same. Okay, now you've mastered down your podcast. You've done everything and it's ready to go. You're ready to stick it up on the internet and you're ready for people to hear it. But you want Google and Yahoo also to find it and index the information uh, with regards to what's in your podcast. So how do you do that? Okay, quite simple. You're going to go up to View, Wave Properties, and a window or a properties window will open that will allow you to enter in information that is about your podcast. Now, when you look at the field properties, such as song title, artist, album name, it's specifically for music information or band information. Well, we're going to have to look at this information a little differently so that we can apply it to us and use it as a podcaster. Now, the first field is your text field name. If you look at it, you'll see you've got standard riff, radio industry, and MP3 ID3 tag. All right. The first two really are not applicable to us. Uh, it's more for files that are being used over the airwaves. Okay. We want the MP3 or the ID3 tag so that we can put in our own information. Now you see I've entered in information just to shortcut time. So here we have our first field option, song title. All right, I've put in optimize my podcast for Google. Now you can use up to 30 characters and after that, uh, the, like the Windows Media Player and Real Player is not going to read the information. So you want to keep it to 30 characters. So you want to be creative. What is this particular podcast about? Mine's about optimizing for Google. So I put some keywords in there, such as optimize and podcast and Google. All right, and it's, uh, I think, 28 characters. Now the next field you'll see here is artist. Now, if you're not a DJ, so to speak, doing uh, independ independent music or... Uh, reviewing and rating uh, indie bands and stuff like that, uh, or if you're doing you know hip hop or you're doing your own music and your own mixes, then put in your DJ name, or if you have a name as a podcaster, put that in there as well, or just put in the name of your podcast and or maybe your website. Now in my case, uh, I don't go by a DJ name, so the artist is Podseek.net. We're the creators of these podcasts. So we put that in there for the artist information. Now, the next one is the album name. You're going to want to do the actual name of your overall podcast theme. So for me, uh, this series of podcasts is about producing a podcast. So uh, I put in how to produce a podcast. So I've got some keywords in there, podcast, and produce. Now again you're limited to 30 characters so stick stick within that and you're gonna have to be brutal with with your text. You're just gonna have to write it and rewrite it and rewrite it until you've got it saying what you want it to say and if you can squeeze in some keywords then all the better for you. Now back to our genre field. If you are uh, someone who's say reviewing in, uh, independent music uh, or you, you do different bands and this week you're you're dealing with uh, progressive rock say like Rush or something then you're going to choose progressive rock or you're going to choose punk rock or R&B or rap or whatever type or style of music 
you're dealing with. Otherwise, if you're just doing an informational topic and you're talking, set it to other. That way it doesn't confuse anybody or the search engines. Now, because we're using the ID3 tag, the rest of these fields are going to be grayed out. So you can't enter in any information, but that's okay. We've already accomplished what we wanted with the album name and the song title. Okay. Now, for the year, type in the year 2000. Now, this is, we're in 2009, so enter in 2009. Then the next two fields really is for information that you might want to give about your podcast. I mean, you can put information in about um, what it's about, who it's for, the type of people, because you can actually look at the properties of an MP3 file, say, through Windows Media Player, and see somebody's comments that they've put in there. So if you don't have anything pertinent about the MP3 or the podcast, leave it blank. Or you can put information in there uh, and put throw a few keywords in there. Then the next field and the last field is the track number. If you're going to throw several podcasts onto a CD, then you're going to put in the number that you want these to play in the order of. So if this is podcast number one, enter in number one. When you do number two, enter in number two, so on and so forth. So if you say you're going to do six podcasts on a CD, you're going to number them by track, so when Windows Media Player decides to play them, it will play them in order. So you can enter in a number there. When you're done and you've got it the way you want, click OK. Then the final step is to go up to File and then Save. Now, if this is the first time you're saving the file, you, you're going to see one piece of information that you need to check, and that's here. Save extra non-audio information. If that box is not checked and you save it, all of that metadata that you've entered is not going to be saved with it. It'll be saved with your, your session file, but it won't be saved into the MP3 file. And that's what you want. You want Google to find that information and then be able to read that information and then hopefully produce it in the search results when people are looking for it. So make sure you save, save extra non-audio information. All right, now I've already saved it. Now I'm gonna minimize this and I will show you the file. Here's the file on my desktop. You see the little pop-up box? You can see who the artist is and the album title, how to produce a podcast, the year it was done, track number one, the time, the format, and all that good information. But you're probably saying to yourself, what about the title information that I put in? I'm glad you asked. I'll open up my Windows Media Player. And here you can see, there's my title, Optimize My Podcast for Google. Now if I go over 30 characters, it will be cut off after that point. So there you can see uh, the information. Optimize My Podcast excuse me, optimize my podcast for Google. And that's it. Save your file, upload it to the internet, and Google will find it, index it, and it will know what that particular podcast is about, who it's by, and all that pertinent information. All right, so that's it. All right, so there you have it. That's how you optimize your file for search engine optimization. For more information on producing your podcast, visit us at podseek.net and you'll find more information on creating podcasts, optimizing your podcast, and setting up your blogs. So until next time, have a great podcast.